I'm back. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes technology and me have got this love-hate relationship going on. Okay, let's have another go. Quick reset. There we go. There we go, there we go. Hi, everyone. Okay, so I thought I would do, hey, Linda. Um, I thought I would do a, um, an art journal page using, I know, Elizabeth, technology and me are just not like this, but it's getting better. I'm getting the hang of it. Almost like a teenager. Um, hey, Annalise. Uh, I'm going to do a junk journal page. I'm going to do it, um, a, a page in my art journal, but incorporate alcohol inks. Um, alcohol inks are not just for cards. They are fantastic for many, many things. So I've got my Scrap Effect junk journal here. Oh, Karen, you are my favourite stalker, sweetheart. Don't call yourself a stalker. But if you are, you're my favourite one, it's okay. So what I decided to do, my, my junk journal, my Scrap Effects junk journal that I've been working on throughout the year, uh, doing these great little pages. Um, I want to show you how you can incorporate alcohol inks into them. So this is a tag that I've done previously uh, with alcohol ink and you can see that it's got these little marks on it. So they are embossed. I've embossed them through my, with my Big Shot machine or my, my Gemini Junior with an embossing folder. And then used the alcohol inks, cut them into a tag and used some, some letters, some alphas, thickers on the top there. Um, here's the other one that I did. Exactly the same technique, alcohol ink in the background. And then I used one of the Scrap Effects black mandalas, the, the cutouts. And the acetate page in my junk journal, I have double sided taped it to that. So they're really, really clever little things that you can do. So I want to show you today how to create a page to put into your junk journal. Oh, look, I used the hair on my, um, on my my girl here my what's that called my paper rose dye the hair is done with alcohol ink all right so that's just one cutting dye from um paper rose if you want to see a tutorial on how to do this page if you flip back through my facebook you'll find that there okay so my junk journal what i would like to do is I've got this page here, and this is actually a street directory page. It's a thin paper. So of course I can't put alcohol straight onto that because it's just going to absorb. So I'm going to use it as a base. A uh, Couple of things that I want to do before I do that. The alcohol ink of course takes a little bit of time to dry on my, uh, on the Yupo paper. So I'm going to just do a couple of quick backgrounds. Um, with a junk journal, you can easily add, add pages to a junk journal. So I've got a transparency here from Scrap FX. And I'm just going to make this a page in my junk journal. I'm not going to put anything on it, but I'm going to alcohol ink it. So I'm going to do that first of all. So I've got my, uh, my case that I've had on special today and you guys must love this because it's sold out pretty much straight away. So what I'm gonna do is, if you are interested in getting one back in again, please send, if you're interested in getting one and I can get them back in again, please send me a message and I'd be happy to order that for you. Um, it won't be the sale price, but I will give you a little discount if you pre-order it. Okay, so what I want to do is this is a clear transparency. Um, and because it is clear, I can alcohol, string, alcohol ink straight onto it and then make this a page in my journal. So I'm going to make this a page using 
Marigold, Kiwi, Shamrock, and not that one. This one. Maybe a bit of daffodil. Or I could check my swatches and see which is the yellow that I wanted to use. I want to use pear instead of daffodil. Okay. So my thinking here is that the, this is printed on the back. So I can add my, my blending fluid straight to my acetate. And I'm sorry about, I'm just going to turn the light down. Uh, so it's got a bit dark, but it's going to stop the glare and I'll turn it back up again in a moment. But this I won't hit with the heat gun because it will melt the acetate. So I just need to let it naturally do its thing. So the two lightest colours on first, then I'm going to go with Kiwi. And now I have some Shamrock. So these are the clear transparency pages, um, the scrap effects ones. So I can now take my puffer tool or my straw and don't inhale. I'm going to pop a little bit more blue around because I really like this blue. Sorry about the top of my head. Oh, I can't blow around corners. created a quick bonus page for my art journal and I'm going to pop that aside to dry and I'll add that into my journal in a moment. Next thing I want to do, I'm just going to whack some light back up again. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Is I want to create a few, a few alcohol ink pages that I'm going to put aside to dry so that I can make some images. And I want to use some greens. So I'm going to pull out all of my green and yellow tones. Not that one. And I'll add in some champagne as well. All right, so I've just got two pieces here and that's going to be ample for what I want to do with my art journal page. I'm just going straight down with some blending fluid. Oh, actually, I'll do one at a time. Uh, start with my lightest colour. And a bit of shamrock. So, of course, when you're using alcohol inks, um, as I mentioned earlier today, you do need to make sure that you're using a synthetic paper such as Yupo or it's not going to work. You do need a synthetic paper because what happens is the alcohol evaporates, leaving the colour sitting on the paper. So that is why alcohol inks are different. Now, I just made the mistake of not shaking this champagne alloy ink this metallic one up too much so I didn't shake it before using it and I've just got the straight color and no 
no um, shimmer. So the shimmer is where the magic happens and you can see straight away the big difference that makes. So I'm just adding it to the wet element still and it looks much, much better. And I'm heat setting it so that it doesn't take too long to dry and I've started that drying process. And that's enough and I'm gonna put that aside. And I'm gonna do another one. Oh, I can't see my paper towel. Can't see it for looking. Is it hiding? It's hiding. All right. Sorry, Lou. Oh, good. So this time I'll do exactly the same thing. I've got a, a wash down here of the, the blending solution. So the blending solution is creating a, you know, a nice little slick puddle for my um, alcohol ink to sit on. So this time I'm going to start with the darker. And that's just moving around beautifully. And I'm going to shake my green, my jade metallic. Oh, so pretty. And give that a blow around with my heat tool. You don't have to heat set it, you can just let it air dry. Um, what I like about this is these lovely lines that it creates. That's the reason I like to do this. All right, so I've got a couple here. Um, I'm just gonna put them aside to dry so that I can create something really cool a little bit later, popping the lids on these. So if I was to use these straight into my art journal, of course, it's just gonna soak right into the paper. Let me show you. So my junk journal is um, from Scrap Effects and it is a combination of lots of different pages. So there's, there's book paper, there's um, these gorgeous cutouts here, there is transparency pages, um, envelopes, tags, all sorts of bits and pieces. But what I would like to do is um, I'm, I wanted to use this page, which used to be a street directory. Now it's my art journal page. So a street directory page, for those of you who don't know what a street directory is, because some people are under the age of 20, not, me, not very many of us, but... You know, it's Google, it's a roadmap <laughs> on paper. Um, so what I wanna do is I have added some gesso on here. If I was to add just um, just the color onto this, it's just gonna soak right in and it's not gonna move around at all. It will stain the paper, but it doesn't give an awesome effect. So it's not fantastic. I have created, um, I've added some gesso to it to seal it. And what I want to do is I'm going to use a stencil to spray a little bit of colour onto my page. So I'm just going to mask off the rest of my book so that this is just showing here. And I'm going to use the Lindy sprays. I'm going to use the Lindy sprays to do that. So I have got here a Moonshadow Lindy's Mist. And I've also got a Starburst spray. So for those of you who haven't used those before, the Lindy sprays are pigment dye-based powders. So that means they are um, permanent and they have a great pigment in them. So the Moonshadow spray is a brown spray with a, this color is called Buccaneer Bay Blue. This color is going to have a, this spray is going to have a blue shimmer. And you can see that shimmer in there. Um, the, what I want to do is I want to add some stuff to the background. Um, I don't know that I love this. I think I might go with this one. So this stencil is called Fallen Leaves. And the other one was called Leafy Tree Arch. They're stencil girl stencils. 
Um, so what I want to do is I just want to spray these leaves. Um, Louise, in the bottom drawer of my trolley over there is a roll of paper towel. Um, okay, so what I want to do is I want to spray this. So when I spray it, I will go in a motion backwards and forwards so that I get a nice even coat of liquid going on. So because I am using a gesso background, it's staining the background, adding a little bit of a shimmer, and I'm getting that colour on there. So I'm just going to go over the top now with a little bit of this one, which is the Tibetan Poppy Teal. And then back over with that brown again. And then I'm going to heat set it. And it didn't work at all. I'm having a great day for that. I think it's because my gesso is still wet. So let's have another go. I'll dry this off and then I'll give it another spray. All right. Hey. It's pretty, as in it's cold. Yeah, well, and the colour, actually, the colour's still showing up quite nicely. So it didn't work like it, it did in my head because, you know, that's a thing. But like Alison said, I like it like that. Hello, Alison. How are you, my love? So I do need to dry it off because this is only a thin paper, so I don't need it to... Um, I don't want it to be too wet. If it is too wet, you just take your roller towel, take off any excess. All right. So let's have another go. And this time we'll go with a little less. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Just get that nice pattern on there. I know, if we could only spend a little bit more time together but in person, hey? What do you reckon? Not quite yet. So, I, I mentioned earlier, I can't use alcohol inks on direct onto my paper because it'll just seep right into my paper because the paper that I'm using is not a synthetic paper. I'm using a very, very thin paper that has been coated in gesso to seal it and then enable me to have a bit of a play with it. So what I want to do next, beautiful, is I want to add a little stamping to that and a little stenciling to this background because that's what I like to do with my art journal. So this stencil is my uh, my Natalie May scrapbooking mark making stencil and I'm just wanting to add these guys here. So I'm going to use black archival ink and a blending tool. So black archival ink I would normally use for uh, for stamping but for this purpose it's the one that I've got in front of me and I'm going to stencil with it. And I'm just going in with my blending tool like that and it's giving me a nice stenciled image now last time i did a live i learned a new trick from a viewer i have always had trouble getting my getting the stencils clean after using the archival ink and the blending tool and sophie explained to me that the way to get it clean was to use hand sanitizer Great idea, and that means just giving, getting a little hand sanitizer, spraying it onto here, or getting a gel, and that will get that ink straight off there. So, bit of a tip there that I didn't know. So, just doing a little bit of stenciling on there, and now I want to add a little bit of stamping. So, this is my stamp for, uh, called Blah Blah Blah, and this is a red rubber stamp that I designed myself. So, I want to add a little bit of stamping 
like that. So this is the one that says original art. And I'm just layering it over the top of where I've been and I'm not wanting to make it too dark. So I'm just what I call off stamping, which means I'm using it as a grey tone. Okay. Like that. So you can see that that colour's come up really quite nice in the background. The leaves are a, a lot are there, but they're really, really quite faint. So that's what we're looking at. All right. So back to my alcohol ink. So I'm going to pop that aside to dry a little. And then I want to take that and that and work out how I can use them on my page. So I'm just quickly going to dry that off. So when you're drying something on Yupo paper with a heat tool, um, just be aware you don't want to you don't want to use too much heat or it's going to melt, which is not ideal. All right. So now I'm going to use some Scrap Effects foam stamps. So these are the Scrap Effects foam stamps. This set I think is called uh, Leaves A and it comes with this one here, that one and that one. Um, this one works really quite nicely. I'll show you how this one looks on a scrap piece of paper I'm not going to use this one on my project but I'll show you how it looks like that how do you clean these I just use a baby wipe um, and then these guys here look like this so when you buy the scrap effects stamps they come already on a piece of acrylic Bonus, you don't even need to put on put them on an acrylic block. Okay, so that's the ones, these are the ones I want to use. So what I would like to do is I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna stamp these straight onto my alcohol ink background, and I'm doing that using the black archival ink so that it is permanent. Once I've done all the stamping, I'm going to heat set it. Um, black alcohol ink has a it's an oil-based ink, so therefore it may smudge a little when you first use it. So it's certainly advisable to just quickly dry it just to make sure that it's permanent. Yeah. There we go, and a couple of these guys. <laughs> My oldest bulldog is sitting outside the door here crying because she can't come in. It's so hard being a dog. Um, I might actually do a couple of these big ones just to see how they look on here. <laughs> She's just sitting at the door whining, leaning up against the door. Oh, I don't mind that at all. I might do some more. She's not the naughty one. Ollie's the naughty one. He's the naughty bulldog. He's like the naughty toddler having a tantrum in a shopping centre. That about sums Ollie up perfectly, I think. All right. So there we go. I have now done those, just stamped those little foam stamps and I'm just gonna quickly heat set them so I don't smudge them with my finger like I just did moving that one.
and I'm overheating this um, Yupo a little. It's getting a little bit soft and melty. So that's why I'm keeping everything moving. Okay. So I'm just going to let those cool down a little uh, and bring back my art journal page. So my art journal page that I'm working on here, um, I'm wanting to have some leaves, a cluster of leaves going on in here. And I might add a little bit of this residual ink to the background. There's still a bit of ink here. Up over the top. So rather than re-inking, I'm just using what is on my stamp. And now I'm going to cut these guys out. Dun, 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 dun. All right. So the cool thing about leaves is they don't take too long to cut out. It's just a lovely simple shape. And if I thought about these too much about the positioning, then this would take me a whole lot longer. But that's not what my art journal is, is about. It's about just creating something fun. So um, I do love the junk journals from Scrap Effects and the fact that they are made up of recycled materials, sustainable as they like to say, organic, and um, and they're lots of fun and they make they challenge you. The journals challenge you because you are having to think a little about the surface that you're working on and have a bit of a play. I do think. Um, I think that they are very, very clever. So I'm just going to go on this one around here. So how's everybody else's day going? Has uh, Have you had a chance to have a look at a few of the other exhibitors from the Craft Alive Great Australian Craft Show? I don't think I've got my comments turned on. I can't see. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's quite a few of you watching. Hello. Oh, having a bit of a hot flush. I think I've had the heat gun going too much today but I'm just about ready for a glass of wine I can say that much so the alcohol inks in your art journal don't necessarily have to be a, ba a background there is no reason why we can't use them to stamp onto as well as an embellishment and use them as a, a feature of our page um, I don't have much of a plan with the art journal page that I'm making other than I wanted to do some some gorgeous leaves. I thought that that would work really quite nicely. And I do love the feeling of Yupo paper. Oh, Karen, thanks, darling. Karen's just commented and says that she only, have, only has eyes for me. Oh, you're my new favourite person today. All right, there's that one, there's that one. I'm going to go in with this one here. Um, and have any of you recreated and been inspired by my lives? Have you created your own artwork? I would love for you to share what you're creating. Um, there's a, a page that you are more than welcome to join called Classes with Natalie May. And I would love for you to see, I'd love to see some of your creations. I'd love to see what you're doing. Um, the things that you, you purchase from me, what are you doing with them? It's it's great to see that everyone is, is purchasing these gorgeous alcohol inks, but nobody sent me a thank you card yet. <laughs> like, you've all got my address, guys. Come on, lift your game. I just need a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a lift every now and again. I love some snail mail, as we like to call it. Something in the post. That's the reason why we do things, isn't it? Because we like to create something from scratch rather than something on a computer. Keeps the brain moving, keeps your hands moving. Um, and I, I, I love that. Send me some love. Send me something that I can put up on my, I have a shelf here in the studio of gifts that I have received from customers and um, thank you gifts for teaching at events. Um, 
the lovely Phoebe in Japan. She has sent me a lovely piece of art that's up on my wall. What else have I got? I've got, oh, I've got all sorts of bits and pieces. I've got some artwork from, uh, created by Fiona Poultridge up on my artwork, on my wall. I've got some work by, who is this that? Janine Koswara. Janine, a local Adelaide lady who is an incredibly talented lady who can do magical things with um, Prima flowers. Does anybody remember Janine? Oh, you collect my thank you cards, do you? So anybody who does an order, you will notice that you get a handwritten thank you card. So I create those individually. Each and every one of them is handwritten by me. Um, I don't... I do it all myself. I stamp an image. I spray a background using uh, the Lindy's sprays or the Lindy's Magicals. And I hand stamp every single one of them for you guys. Um, I guess you take the time to, to spend a little time with me ordering your, your favourite craft, su craft supplies. So I spend some time to say thank you and give you a little piece of art. A little bit of love goes a long way, I think, so. And uh, yes, Alison's just commented. Uh, Alison Bevis from Queensland has an order that she received oh, a couple of weeks ago, the lovely gift wrapping paper that I wrapped her order in. She has actually created a scrapbook page using that whole piece of paper, well, a whole page using that piece of paper. And I have to say, it looks pretty amazing. Uh, I did discuss with her this morning me sharing it. So she's going to send me a copy of that image so that I can share it all with you on my private classes with Natalie May page. Okay? So I would love for you to do that, Alison Bevis. No pressure. All right, so what I want to do now is something that I don't know if it's going to work or not. I've cut out all my leaves. My background here does not have any green element to it. And I think it needs a little bit of green element to it. So I'm going to try and see what happens if I drop some Kiwi alcohol ink into here. So... It's sitting on top of the other bits and pieces and it's bleeding a little. But it, it is working, but it's going to soak right in. I'm going to use it quite sparingly. It's certainly not made for going on this surface, I can tell you right now. It doesn't feel like it should be there. Whoops. All right, so we're on the right track here. There we go. Now, because Lindy's products are permanent and they're a dye-based product, it means that my background has, has set and the colour that I've just put on the top with the alcohol ink is still green. It hasn't muddied up. Lindy's has got that amazing ability to be able to set and stain, whereas... Other products will just reactivate. Okay, so before I stick my leaves on, I want to add a black border. So I've just grabbed a random black pen from my stash and I'm going to do a black border. Glossy accents will give you a non-porous surface, surface for alcohol inks. Oh, good tip, Alison. Thank you. I didn't know that. Look at that. You learn something new every day. Will dimensional magic wipe uh, work as well, Bevis? I don't. Um, I don't use. I don't love glossy accents. It is not my favourite product. It clogs up every single time. I like the dimensional magic, which is same but slightly more fluid. I've tried my, oh, you <laughs> okay, so, um, sorry, I'm just reading the comments there at the same time. 
Alrighty, so what I would like to do is I'm wanting to add a little a vine going up here with my alcohol ink leaves. Um, I've created a bit of a, a hot mess going on in the background here using the Lindy sprays. Ooh, and, uh, and the alcohol inks and the stamping. Um, I just want to add what I call, and Dina Wakely calls, um, asymmetric scribbles. So I'm just adding a little bit more interest to my background, just in case I thought it was, you know, not exciting enough. And that will do it. And now I need to think about how I'm going to stick my leaves down. I want my leaves, my vines to run up here. So I've just got some red line tape. And I don't know if this is going to work or not. I'm just winging it. It's been one of those days of trialing things new. Hasn't always worked for me today. I could staple them on, but I don't want to staple them on because I have already done an art journal page on this side. And I don't want to mess that one up with um, exposed staples. So I'm going to use the red line tape because it is super sticky, as we all know. Wonder tape, red line tape. And I'm really giving that some love. Take the back off. All right. So I'm going to put on the darkest leaves first because they are, of course, the boldest and the strongest ones. So I'm going to add those around my page. I know I did another couple. Here we go. And I'm pretty sure I just need three, but I'll keep that one there in reserve. That one can go down there. And now I can just start tucking. I like this leaf a lot. So I want that one to sit over the top there. Oh, this is this tape is so sticky, which we know because it's wonder tape, but <laughs> but I'm kicking myself now. All right, there it is, it's stuck down. It's another deeper green one. Have I exposed? I've got a little bit of sticky here and I need to fix that somehow. And I think I feel like I need this one at the top here. Hey, Tina, welcome. Sorry, honey, you're about 45 minutes late. I don't know what time you think it is, love. Have you got other places to be today? Goodness me. <laughs> um, all right, I've got a little gap here where I've got some tape exposed because apparently I can't line things up properly. So I'm just going to cover that up with a tiny piece of my scrap alcohol ink paper and I've got the fumbles today that'll do trim that off your phone again Louise you are popular today love all right so now I've got this gorgeous little vine that runs up the side I've got some stamping out here And it is looking pretty good. And it's got a nice little shimmer to it too. So my background's got some shimmer to it. My, with the Lindy sprays, the leaves have got a bit of shimmer because I've used a combination of the metallics and the um, other alcohol inks as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, I could add a white phrase along here or a word, but I'm not going to do that. 
I'm just wanting to leave this um, this art journal page exactly as it is. All right, so that one is looking pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with that. So earlier I did the um, acetate, which is still wet, and I just splattered dripping alcohol ink everywhere. Oh, does anybody else have those days that everything you touch is just, you know? Is it just me? So this is still wet. I'm just drying the puddles. Because it's really thin. So this is the Scrap Effects Transparency. And I have now just, I'm wanting to add a brand new page to my junk journal. Just taking off any other bits. Let's get rid of that. Let's, <laughs> let's fold that in half. Score it with my fingernail. And now I have got a new page. Oh, look, that's where it splattered. Are you freaking kidding me? <sighs> Goodness me. All right. The temptation to really swear at myself then, I can tell you it's right there. Um, okay, so the rest of my journal, let's get it out. I've got it all in pieces here. So... They come as loose pages. Um, this is the limited edition Scrap Effects Junk Journal. And to give you a bit of an idea, you're looking at a, a manila folder, a big chunky piece of denim. You're looking at some music paper. It's upside down. You're looking at a big piece of craft with this gorgeous little number cut out, paper bags, uh, book paper, tags colored paper. I've done one page in mine. Um, and so that's what you're looking at. All of these really cool different surfaces for you to, to play on and play with. Um, this little die cut one here with the words cut out. So you can build on it. It comes as a loose, loose pages. So what I want to do is I've added the, I'm wanting to add the page in so the page that I just completed then will slip in about here. That's where I had it. So now when I open my junk journal, I've got that one, that one, and then that's got a little small tag. And I can slide in this extra page that I have made with the motorbikes on it. So. Here looks like as good a place as any. And what will happen is when I finish this junk journal, oh, uh, the kit comes with uh, some heavy thread for book binding and I'm going to use a needle and I'm going to bind it together. Maybe. So there's my page with my motorbike and I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not going to add anything else to do it onto it. This will become an, um, an art journal page. And I will paint this page, but I'm just going to leave this one by itself. So I can incorporate my alcohol inks into my art journal. Uh, this one is the page I've just done, of course. And I've got other pages here. Now, most of these, if you go back and have a look at my YouTube, uh, which I think is Natalie May Scrapbook Ideas, you'll see most of these as tutorials uh, up online. This is a page that I did for Lindy's a couple of months ago. And a similar one that I did using the Lindy's Magicals. So you can see some gorgeous effects with Magicals on the background. And, oh, hello. Hello. 
Um, this is using one of Michelle Logan's um, Funky Folk and I have added it to the acetate page in here. I could have added alcohol inks to color that as well and I still can. But I've added these gorgeous little bits here. And then there's another page. So this is the one that I did live on Facebook last weekend. And I use, we use the gilding flakes, gilding flakes, <laughs> get my words out, and double-sided tape to create something on here that looks amazing with a um, scrap effects die cut over the top. This here has been cut out of paper with alcohol ink and pieced together. And that is a paper die, a die from Paper Rose. Um, there's the other side of my transparency I've just coloured. And here's another little idea. The wings from Scrap Effects on the transparencies, I popped one of those behind my uh, Tim Holtz dead person, as I like to call them, and coloured them to suit my project. So the acetates will colour up beautifully. So just some alcohol ink. And then I also used alcohol ink to colour his outfit. Because this is a glossy cardstock, paint won't stick to it as well as what the alcohol ink will. So there you go. Um, there's a huge variety of pages in there, Alison. Thank you for noting that. That's ex exactly right. And that's what I like is the whole idea of a junk journal gives me the opportunity to try lots and lots of new techniques and lots of ideas and have a play. Um, and the journal's for me, not for you guys. It's for me. So it's the opportunity for me to have a play. Um, so I'll be doing some more in my junk journal again tomorrow. I'm um, not quite sure what I'm going to do yet, but there we go. We'll cross that hurdle when we get to it. So just to recap, what we did today is created an art journal page to go in a junk journal. Um, I used a page out of my book, which was a street directory. I coated it in gesso, sprayed the end, sprayed the back with some Lindy sprays and a stencil which was this one here which is the leaves um stencil girl stencil i then created two pieces of paper using alcohol ink created something like this and then stamped over that paper using a scrap effects foam stamp and alcohol oh not alcohol ink I've got alcohol on the brain now um Archival ink, that's the word I'm looking for. So stamping straight onto there and then cut my leaves out. There's a little bit of stenciling going on in the background here using my Mark Maker stencil. So this is a Natalie May scrapbooking Mark Maker stencil. And then I've got some stamping as well with the Natalie May scrapbooking original art stamp. Okay. So some close up there for you to see. Yeah, I think I do need a drink, Tina. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I think Louise and I both need one today. Alrighty, so there you go. Thank you for joining in. Um, alcohol eggs are still 15% off until the end of the day. And um, I don't think you guys have tried hard enough. There's no gaps on the shelf yet. Oh, there's a couple. Actually, I take that back. Um, if you would like to add to your previous order that you have done, don't forget to select No Judgment at the checkout instead of paying for postage a second time. Um, we are busy, busy, busy collating orders and putting them together and, um, and having a ball with it. So thank you very much, everyone, for joining in. Jump online to nataliemay.com.au. Um, tomorrow I will be uh, doing some more Facebook lives. I have another daily deal happening tomorrow. And guess what, guys? There's one on Sunday as well. So don't forget, you can get 15% off uh, all Christmas items, plus paper pads and Lindy's products until the end of the weekend. And today is 15% off of alcohol inks. Okay? So have a fantastic day and I'm going to go and have a glass of wine. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys, and we'll chat soon. Oh, kiss your kids, wash your hands.